Hi, Gary Stearman. Time for another Prophecy in the News daily update. This being made on the 21st for release on Monday, the 25th of June. Bob Ulrich in studio with me. And Bob and I are going to continue to talk about uh, some critical uh, news items that are coming out of the Middle East. Also, we're going to discuss studio plans and programming plans that we have in the works. And you'll want to stay tuned for that. Bob, in the Middle East right now, as we make this, Hamas is raining down missiles on Israel. In fact, I've got a news release here. Uh, Hamas announced a ceasefire, as they always do, after firing 70 missiles and mortar shells during the day. Now, they're firing these things indiscriminately into Israel. Schools, bus stops, civilians, women, children, doesn't make any difference at all to them. Where's the outrage? Yeah. Where's the world outrage? Where's the media outrage? Exactly. Where's the condemnation? Uh, not a word when the shoe is on the other foot. Should Israel retaliate? It just oh. seems like they play under a different set of rules, and of course they do. And of course they do, because we know who controls the media, <clears throat> and I don't have to tell you. But that's another story. We could spend a lot of time on that. We're not here necessarily to talk about the media. We are here today to talk about some great news, some wonderful things that are happening at Prophecy in the News. Thanks to your generosity and thanks to answered prayer. You know, uh, Bob, the Lord seems to be opening doors for us these days. And, and I think there must be a lot of people out there praying for us. I suspect there are. I suspect Jr. is watching down on us, too, and I think he's probably very pleased at oh, what yeah. the Lord has done here. He would be extraordinarily pleased. We're on the, uh, the last uh, leg of completing the Jr. Church Studio Fund, and that's going to enable us to have a state-of-the-art studio, and we need that because, as we announced last Friday, we're going to be broadcasting worldwide on the church channel. Bob, explain how the church channel works and where we'll be heard. Well, 2.3 billion people. Do I need to go any further? I mean, yep. that's a big audience. <laughs> a 2.3 potential <coughs> big audience. Yeah. Billion, uh, with a B, billion people. The whole island of the Philippines, all over Asia, all over the world. 885 new cable systems alone in just the United States. Uh, AT&T UVerse, which is one of the fastest growing uh, internet providers in the country. Anyone with AT&T is now going to be able to tune in and get prophecy in the news. Another airing on DirecTV, another airing on the Dish Network, another airing on the Glory Channel. Uh, the ministry is just bursting at the seams. We can't hire people fast enough. Uh, we can't knock down walls fast enough and try to find places for all the great books and DVDs coming out. So we are we're in a very, uh, very important and critical, critical mass phase here at the ministry right now. The church channel is just the latest addition. It's not the end of the growth here. The Lord is, as you said, opening doors, and we're simply walking through them. Bob, I think there's a reason for it. And, and I don't want to, to overly dramatize this, but to me, the reason is because I think there is a sense out there, a public awareness that something big is about to happen, that this world is changing. It can't go on the way it's been going on for very much longer. Uh, Christians who understand Scripture see the keys, uh, particularly the keys in the Middle East being set up, but also look at Europe. Look at the collapsing financial system in Europe and America, Bob. Daniel's prophecies speak very clearly of a latter-day rearrangement of nationalities, of economies, until finally one large global economy falls under the leadership of ten kings. Now, we would think of these kings as ten regional controllers. Whatever title you give them, they function as kings. And, and looking at Europe today, we can see that very thing beginning to shape up. Well, the whole world is coming apart at the seams. I, I was uh, reading L.A. Marzulli's blog yesterday, and he was talking about how we're, our attention is diverted to this Hollywood star and this, oh, yeah. you know, this scandal and this and the other thing, and no one's talking about what's happening in the Middle East. I mean, warships moving into position, tanks moving into position. I mean, talk about what's happening with Russia and Iran and Syria and the things that are happening. Now, we're watching history in the making. 
I mean, one day very soon, you have to believe that we're going to hear the trumpet. I mean, I just can't stop thinking what it's going to be like that first moment when I hit yeah. those streets of gold in heaven and when I actually stop and realize I made it. I made it. Wow. I mean, it's going to be a great day, and it's getting close, isn't it? We're enthusiastic, mm -hmm. and we want to share the good news with everybody we can, which is why we're so excited about expanding Prophecy in the News. By the way, if you don't subscribe to our magazine, Prophecy in the News, uh, you, you need to do so. For example, in our July issue, uh, we have put five photographs on the cover, five men. Uh, we have uh, uh, Nasrallah of Lebanon, Erdogan of Turkey, Assad of Syria, Ahmadinejad of Iran, and Putin of Russia. And Bob, these five men are operating together right now around in and around Syria in a consortium of controlling nations. They're bringing in weaponry, they're bringing in arms, uh, they're trying very, very hard to rearrange uh, the lines of force in the Middle East so that they will remain in control. And Bob, this is exactly what the Bible talked about. It's, it's fabulous. Well, they're having their own version of uh, peace talks, except they leave Israel out of all of them, which they do. you have to just view as almost, almost just funny. It's hysterical. I mean, Israel, according to them, is the cause of all the conflict and trouble in the Middle East, and yet Israel's never let into the good old boys club. And their goal remains the same, the complete annihilation of the entire nation of Israel and every Jew on the planet. For those of you who share our excitement about Bible prophecy and for those of you who have contributed uh, in any way to the JR Church Studio Fund, we just want to say a great big thanks. Uh, Bob is going to tell you here in a moment how you can continue to contribute and re receive something valuable in return, by the way. And... He's going to tell you how close we are to completing the studio fund. We're very, very close to the goal, uh, and we're going to move ahead with all possible speed to bring the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ to places in the world that may not have heard it uh, in this way up until now. July 6th, we start on the church channel, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Can't wait to see the calls and the emails coming in. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are going to be in Branson with us, uh, the world's largest prophecy conference in the history of the world, what do we have, 25, 26 different, different speakers? Yeah. Uh, we've just added another one. I, I've lost track of how many there are. Uh, Bill Salas has agreed to join us, and wow. Bill's going to be making two presentations at the conference. So we're excited about his information on Psalm 83 and Isaiah 17 and Ezekiel 38. I mean, these things are happening so fast that I think Bill is a a hugely important, uh, you know, addition uh, to the Prophecy Summit. I should say a word about Bill Solace. Uh, he was here. Uh, you've seen him on these updates. Uh, and Bill has a very interesting theory about Psalm 83 and a gathering of the, the nationalities that surround Israel. And, and, and together in Psalm 83, uh, they, they have said, quote, come. Let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Bill believes that, that uh, these nations are going to attack Israel in the very near future and that they will be soundly defeated. And in the aftermath of that battle will come the battle of Ezekiel 38. And I think he really has uh, some reason on his side and some, some really sound scriptural analysis. Uh, so stay tuned. You know, uh, Scripture is being studied more deeply than ever before. Uh, I, I think the uh, progressive opening of the eyes of those who study the Bible is a big part of what's going on today. Well, Bill's book, Revelation Road, is a fantastic read. Uh, it's just written in a way that is unlike any other book I think that's ever been published, where it's a novel, but it's a roving commentary, and it takes on all of these wars, all of these future wars, and I think lays them out in a really clear pattern. We've got $29,000 left to raise for the JR Church TV Studio Fund. Uh, all the money has been collected. Uh, a large gift came in along with a $29,000 loan that we have to repay. We've ordered everything. Two of our cameras are here, one right behind me, one on the table in front of us. Two more are coming next week. Our tripods are on the way. 
spectrographs and things that I don't even know what they are, what they do, or will be sitting in our control booth here very soon. We want to finish raising the rest of the money we need to repay this loan. Uh, the, last, uh, the last step of the journey sometimes is the hardest. Uh, what we're going to use to do that is the Grant Jeffrey Prophecy Bible. I'm holding this in my hand. Beautiful black bonded leather. You can see the shiny, beautiful gold edges to it filled with Grant's prophetic commentary. I'm sure many of you know that Grant passed away here a little more than a month ago. And I think he would love the fact that we're getting his Bible out to the masses. Uh, for a gift of $100 to Prophecy in the News, you can help us finish that studio fund, pay back that loan, and we're going to give you as a free bonus a one-year subscription to our magazine, a $35 value. So for $100, you get the Prophecy Bible, you get a one-year sub, and you'll want to ask for the special Syria-Damascus issue. Uh, Gary's written a tremendously insightful article in here that I think really lays out the next stages of what we think is going to happen. I hope so. No man can see the future. But we uh, make every attempt to analyze uh, the, the intricacies of Middle East politics. And we've been doing this for decades now. Uh, and all of this was started many, many years ago by J.R. Church. Uh, we're keeping his spirit alive, if you will, because we have as much excitement about the study of Bible prophecy now as we did four decades ago. That's all I can say. One last thing. If you missed our update over the weekend, Prophecy in the News is going digital. Uh, finally, we've found a company that's going to digitize our magazine each month. We've gone through the testing phase. We have a completed issue. Uh, we'll probably be launching this in the next 30 days. So for all you people in Sweden and New Zealand and Australia and all the places around the earth where our internet program gets to, now the church channel is going to take it even farther. Very soon, probably in 30 days or so, we'll have a subscription that you can purchase. You won't have to pay $100 anymore for an annual subscription. It'll come digitally in an email. And uh, we're excited about that too. That's going to revolutionize uh, our audience abroad. Well, Bob, it's been a, a, a very quick few minutes here. There's so much to say and so little time. And that pretty much uh, describes the world today. Uh, keep watching. We're watching. And by the way, keep looking up. <laughs>